First Presbyterian Church of Hollywood, good afternoon. We're just trying to stay connected as best we can right now in this really challenging time through some of these updates. And last week, it was so good to hear from Nick Barrett, our Director of Student Ministries, and a story of our youth feeling inspired in their worship and their discipleship. And so this week, I really just had on my heart to talk to you about a psalm of lament and the place of lament in our lives as followers of Jesus Christ. You know, this is a lifeline for me. Every morning I pick up the Psalms and I walk outside and it is such a a treasure that I hold on to each day. And I'm always struck by how many Psalms are Psalms of lament. These Psalms that express deep grief and pain and loss to God. In fact, Walter Brueggemann, an Old Testament theologian, he says these psalms are psalms of disorientation, psalms where our equilibrium has been upset. It feels like the world is out of control, that our lives are out of control, that we don't feel okay. And psalms of lament express this honesty to God. You know, I was just thinking about this week and even in my own family, just how our lives have been upset in this time. This week, um, we're experiencing loss because my kids were supposed to be at a, at a camp, you know, holding baby chicks and at a farm, you know, petting horses for a couple hours a day. My son was supposed to be in soccer practice in the afternoons. And all of that is now canceled. It's lost right now. Even when I go to one of my favorite websites, surfline.com, to check out the waves, the report is so much different. It's talking about how to stay away from the ocean and that this is a time to be apart from the ocean. And it's such a loss. I miss that. And you may be experiencing this too. I I know you are in some ways, in, in deep ways. We're experiencing loss of income loss of relationships, loss of our normal life, that stability that we all so much need and desire. Well, Psalm 13 speaks into this, and I want to read it to you. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. You know, I'm always struck by how the psalmist is expressing their honesty, expressing the loss and the pain to God. And yet so often the psalmist comes back to this deep affirmation of trust that we still hope in the Lord Jesus, that we can still affirm his steadfast love, even in the darkness. I'm always inspired by that, that there's always this affirmation of trusting in Jesus in the midst of our circumstances. This week I had a chance to um, talk with Anna Kerr, our dear sister, and she is experiencing loss right now. And She allowed me to share some of this with you. As many of you know, she lost her brother, Lynn, last Thursday. And Lynn was seven years younger than Anna. And Anna told me that during this time, one thing that has helped her is just writing out stories of Lynn when he was younger and being able to share those with his wife, Sharon. And she said one of these stories that she really got a kick out of was when Lynn was a baby and he was being rocked to sleep in his crib by his grandmother. When his grandmother would stop, Lynn would put his foot up on the side of the crib as if to say, come on, Grandma, keep going, keep going. Little stories like this lifted Anna's heart. And she said just writing this out and sending this 
to Lynn's wife Sharon, eight pages of stories has helped Anna express her grief, express loss, but also experience the goodness of God in the midst of that. And church community, this week, I want to just encourage you that to take, um, take a moment, whether it's a walk, whether it's journaling, but take a moment to express your honest loss that you're feeling right now. Express that to God. And also affirm, even just say, Lord, help me trust you in this time. I believe in your goodness still, even now. A psalm of lament will express that deep pain and also hold on to that affirmation of trust. Let's be that kind of church with one another and that kind of church before God in this next week. Know that your elders, your staff are praying for you. Know that you're not alone. And know the peace of Christ that surpasses all understanding. Know that today. God be with you.